Sydney Sweetie trends after fans call her out the star for sharing a photo from her mother's birthday party, which includes a family member sporting a Blue Lives Matter shirt. Other photos when the event saw party goes wearing parodied MAGA hats. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so ugly. I love that. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh, look at that shirt. I would wear a shirt like that. Oh, that's a, that's a particularly gross one. Oh, that's so good. Where's Sydney Sweeney from? I mean, this is a this is a very Caucasian family. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Cancel me too, my whole family. Where's that shit? Yeah, I was about to say, like. <laughs> I was about to say, what 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 is she supposed to do? Kill her fucking family members? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's not even an actual MAGA hat. Wait, what? What is it? Open image, a new tab. Make street great again? What? Oh, make. Oh, they got MAGA themed make 60 great again hats? Bro. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. Yo, that's awesome. Bro, bro, bro. This is like, dude, dude. Oh no, <laughs> that's hilarious. Why did she post that? <laughs> oh, she's so dumb. You guys, this is a wild innocent celebration for my mom's milestone 60th birthday party is 32 absurd political statement, which is not the intention. Please stop making assumptions. Bush love to everyone. Happy birthday, mom. You know the Zoomers are bitching about her having family members exactly like this? Yeah. I mean, it's like... <sighs> Is it because the country theme of it all? That was just the theme of the party? Doesn't mean your family are Republicans. You should be allowed to celebrate your mom's birthday in peace because someone at the party was wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt? Yeah. Um. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, your mom wanted to do a maggot themed 60th birthday party. That's kind of crazy. Like, are they on multiple levels of irony or what's going on? But also, by the way, I don't care. I literally don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You, you're, it's fine. Like, straight up, you're, you should be fucking, uh, you know, if you have horny conservative family members, yeah, <laughs> you know, you're, what are you, you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Just go to jail? Like, everybody calm the fuck down. Unless Sydney Sweeney forces her parents to vote for Joe Biden at gunpoint, I can no longer a good conscience stand her TV show about high schoolers snorting heroin out of each other's mouths. Unless she den <laughs> unless she denounces her parents that were probably in the bottom twentieth percentile of racist white people in America, I will be forced to boycott the episode where all fifteen year olds smoke meth. This guy didn't even understand it. Obama Joker time. This is kind of sick and parasocial. You're trying to control her family relationships. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're all so bro brain broken. Yeah, this is the take. This is the take that everybody brings up. Honestly, if you're a white person who says they're committed to racial justice and you're good standing with most of your family, I have questions for you, and they're definitely pointed. Yeah, how about you fucking point it on your own, man, okay? Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, kill... Yeah, is, is she, these people are like, yo, you should kill your family members if they fucking, <laughs> if they're fucking conservative. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, you're going to be dripping that make 40 great again, dripping a year or two Blue Lives Matter shirt and all. We're going to love it. Yeah. Armenian genocide denier would say that. Oh, 
fucking oh, come on, bro. I can't. I, I right now. I'm gonna be honest. Wait, what? Sydney's dad. Sydney Sweeney's dad watching her get back shots from a black man in euphoria. Did that happen? Not like the literal dad watching it. I'm saying like, is that what happened in Euphoria? I'm 31. I never watched it. A couple of times, yeah. Like, there are ways of dealing with your conservative parents. You know what I mean? Fucking cut them off the... Put parental locks on on Fox News. You know what I mean? Stop them from watching that shit. Change their Facebook account so they can't actually log on. They're not too good at technology. You can, you can you know, clown them. At first, they'll be like, oh, man, I can't log on Facebook. What's going on? It's like... It's fine. Change the Wi-Fi password. Be like, Mom, you should read instead. You know what I mean? And not the fucking Bill O'Reilly books. I'm trying what they call me a Nazi get violent like a toddler. What is it? What if it's my brother who understands tech? Yeah, I mean, you're kind of cooked then. Gave my dad a drone, but sadly, he still has time for Fox News. Yo, parents always make up time for Fox News. You just got to take Fox News away from them. Huh. <sighs> If they ask for Fox News, I'll link your Fox News reacts instead. I mean, she herself did nothing wrong and her parents are probably just brainwashed by Fox News, so it's not like people should hate her for it. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck are people... It's, it is weird. It is definitely weird that... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it is definitely fucking weird that People are losing their minds over this, but it's expected. My grandpa died and now he can't watch Fox News. Why do people smile? I just want to know if they were like multiple layers deep in irony and they were doing like the, this is a yeehaw themed birthday party. You know what I mean? Because that would be kind of sick. Or if they're just fucking straight conservatives, who gives a fuck? All she had to do was not post it. Why? She loves her mom. You know, she posted with her fucking mom. It's a normal thing. I want a MAGA theme party. I mean, I would do that. <laughs> yeah, her family is racist, but they aren't homophobic. I mean, they were having a blast. Wait, what the fuck? Simple answers are best. I just think they're conservative. I mean, yeah, they probably are. I mean, whatever the fuck Sydney Sweeney's from, it makes sense. Last time posting is I'm not going to annoy you with this link. Black and Surge propaganda by fan of the show, Larry Elder. No, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch that. I just want more details on this, man. I want more details. I want to know. I want to know what the fuck was going on here. I think she said it. I think she would have said it if it was ironic. Well, obviously, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, that's the only reason why I want to know. I want to know if it's ironic or not because it's like kind of funny. You know what I mean? Especially if it's like ironic. But this dude is probably not ironically wearing the ugliest Blue Lives Matter shirt you could have fucking found, you know? It's kind of fucked up that people trying to cancel her aren't even considering she's hot. I agree. She's from fucking Spokane, Lamau. She's not even from the South. Oh, my friend, I have something to tell you about old white people. Oh, oh wow. That's crazy. She's from, she's from Spokane. That's crazy, man. What? Old white people from the PNW are way worse. They're serial killer races. <laughs> Not all. Okay, I tap back and we're thirsting, I guess. No, we're we're canceling her, bro. She's done. She's done for good. We blame Nikki. Wait, what? For ending Cardi's career per. What is happening here? You guys are so, and me as a fan of both Cardi and Nikki, I'd be like here defending Cardi and there to defend Nikki. What? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked that question. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. I have no opinion on it. Please don't tell me. Please, please. I do not want to know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the barbs. I'm so sorry. She was always right. Oh. <sighs> 